Hi again YouTube, it's Darren from CodyTVBoxes.co.uk This video will be as quick as possible on updating um, an Android box from XBMC Gotham to um, Kodi Helix. Um, hopefully we should cover everything for most people. Um, I've had a few customers of mine asking me if they want to update. Um, our boxes still come with XBMC on it at the moment although we are considering um, sending them out now with Kodi because we're getting a few requests for people to update so um, I'm just going to do this video um, to obviously to, to demonstrate to people how easy it is to update and a few little things that you need to do along the way um, hopefully I'll like I say cover it for most people um, there may be a little bit differences between yourselves and what we're going to do here um, but I'm sure you'll get through this just by watching this video it's quite simple Right, we're on uh, the actual Android box itself now. We're going to go down to the browser. I've had no preparation with this again. If you watch most of my videos, you'll hear me say that. But uh, I tend to just jump on in as if uh, I'm doing it from fresh. And then any problems that we hit, um, hopefully you'll hit the same thing and uh, you won't have any issues. So um, what I'm going to do is go to Kodi dot TV, And I'm going to click OK or Go across to here and we'll go to downloads and then we're going to come across to here now obviously if it's on an Android device um, you'll come to your Android if you're on Windows etc I'm sure you can follow regardless uh, but we're going to click on uh, ARM uh, Android device for this particular device complete action we'll go with the easy downloader Now I'll skip through this in case mind you it's coming down 14-20% in real time. So. Okay, so it's successfully downloaded. Now I presume we go to our open file and install and use the package installer um, click install now any new boxes as I say we'll, uh, we'll be sending out we'll have Kodi on um, so you won't have to do this but anybody that's uh, had a box that was previously um, would most probably like and wants to update although there's no real need to in my opinion at the moment but um, you can do it following these instructions so we're going to click done and exit out of there and then I'm assuming now it should be within the area again code is installed so when we click on this now as far as I'm aware this normally grabs your information from your previous setup and installs it into um, the new version of Kodi let's just hope it does There we go, it's moved your configuration from your previous setup to uh, to here. So we're going to click OK. Now what I will point out to you is uh, the odds are that, depending on which skin you're using this is, um, if for example you go to, I don't know, let's just use anything that we know has got a search in it. If you go to Genesis and go to search, I'm not expecting to have the keyboard show up. The keyboard will show up, there we go, great. Um, so basically you've got no keys now it's not a big issue we'll just come out of here you may be doing some updates in the background yeah, there we go um, what we need to do is uh, we'll go to video add-ons again depending on what skin you want to make your way to video add-ons and then really just want uh, iStream maintenance now if you haven't got iStream or XUnity maintenance iStream if you haven't got that installed you'll have to install that and uh, there'll be other videos to show you how to do that I'm not going to go into that now so I'm going to click on there and then come across to fixes now in here you'll see keyboard Kodi fix click on that that's it done so I'll come back out of there and then go back into uh, Genesis oh, am 
hard, sorry. I need to go search. Search for a movie, and there we go, keyboard's back. That's it ladies and gentlemen, hopefully that's been of some use to you and it's as simple and as quick as that to update to Kodi from your uh, original boxes. Um, if you've got any problems or uh, any issues following the video, please rate, comment and subscribe. Um, and as I say, any boxes coming out now will from us will have Kodi installed from default and also within the recovery image, if uh, you have to recover, we'll, install, uh, we'll reinstall should I say. Uh, Cody from scratch so there's no need to worry about that now if you have had a box from us and it's come out with XBMC or had a box from anybody and it's come out with, with XBMC on and you're updating from from XBMC to Cody or should I say from Gotham to Helix um, although all it is is just a change, uh, name change in this case um, you will if you do a reset the odds are again it will take it back to how it was when you bought the box so again you would have to follow these instructions or uh, complete these instructions to install Kodi again um, but as I say any new boxes that come out from us now will have the recovery image and it will reinstall um, Kodi from scratch so hopefully that's a bit of some use to you guys it's, it's, it's as simple as that if you have any more issues as I say please comment and uh, let me know and I'm going to leave it there thank you